What's up guys, today's mission, we're walking around looking for some fresh coyote sign to get some new traps put in the ground. Right now I'm over here at the edge of this creek. Now if any of you guys have creeks at your property, chances are coyotes run up and down that sucker like highways. Um, and I'm, I guarantee you've heard them howling at night. So uh, today we're just gonna do a little walk around in this cow pasture or this creek and uh, see if we see any fresh sign. If we do, we're gonna set on it. So y'all stick around, we're gonna walk around for a little while and uh, see what we can find. Now when I'm out here looking around for this sign, I'm kind of targeting these natural swags just right here in the creek already that makes really easy crossings for these coyotes. Um, so just a little tidbit of what I'm looking for. So it kind of take, instead of having to search this entire freaking creek for traps, I can just hone down on these little funnels, natural funnels, uh, where it makes it easier for them to cross. So we're gonna keep looking. Well, there's one thing there will be no shortage of, and that is some doggone raccoon traps or tracks, not traps, raccoon tracks. It'd be a good place for some raccoon traps, but that's not what I'm after. I'm trying to catch the old coyote. Well, hopefully you can still hear me with the wind blowing. Uh, the first property we were at, uh, nothing ever really produced on the creek as far as some of those crossings. I never seen really any sign. I seen a bunch of raccoon traps, tra bunch of raccoon tracks, goodness gracious. And then one set of fox tracks. I'm really not trying to catch foxes. I really want to rack up on my coyote numbers. Um, so, uh, what I've got here is I've had a, I did have a corn pile right here and had a cell camera on it. And the past few nights I've had coyotes walking through here. And I know for a fact I'm probably gonna catch a raccoon. So since I'm gonna catch a raccoon, I know that I'm gonna catch a raccoon, I'm, quite, I'm gonna do a, like a tri set right here. I'm gonna put one set right here at this bucket, one at that bucket, and then there's another right there where the tripod's at. I'm gonna put another set right there. So kind of like a triangle set of traps in the ground right here. Um, Probably gonna use a three inch dirt hole, uh, d uh, two double punch hole set, and then uh, maybe a flat set. That's probably what I'm gonna do at this spot. Um, but like I said, I I'm expecting to catch a, a raccoon here, but I want to have enough traps so I got I can catch one raccoon, or I can catch two raccoons, but still have a set that's gonna work for a coyote. Um, so anyway, without any further talking, I gotta hurry and get these traps in the ground because it's getting late and I'm trying to go hunt this afternoon. So uh, let's throw them in the ground. Also, I'm gonna throw you onto the little chesty here and see if the video is worth a darn. So uh, if the video is any good, I will post it. If the video is crap, I'm not going to. But if I do, let me know what you think about it. If you'd rather have it on the chesty or if you'd rather have it on the tripod with the, like we have been doing for quite some time now. So uh, just trying to change it up for you guys, keep it interesting. So uh, anyway. No more talking, let's get these traps on the ground. With this set, the road bed runs right here down to my left, right here. So um, I want this to be really, really like popping out. So with that say, being said, I'm gonna use a three inch dirt hole. So let's get her in the ground. I know you're seeing a bunch of sand right here and the reason is because there's a creek right here that runs by. So um, that's why you're seeing a bunch of sand right here. So anyway, I'm gonna dig this out. Come in with our trap. Really soft sand. I do miss trapping my sandy soil areas that I did have that I don't have anymore since I moved. Next to this creek is really nice. This creek washes a lot in the winter time, so that's why all the sand is up here on the banks. So, all right, let's get this sucker whacked into the ground. Got her down in there good. Pull up, set my anchor on the trap. All right, she's set. I'm gonna take her hammer, plug the hole we just made with that rod. And we get the trap set. Now, there's wax on these dogs right here. You wanna remember to scrape those off. Here lately, I've been forgetting to do that. So, take her pocket knife. Go in here, scratch the wax off the dog. Right there at the night latch. And then we'll be able to push it down. And it locks right there. Without sliding all the way off. All right, got our dog, whole dog out, traps. Bed has been made. Push a little bit more dirt for this to lay into and settle in. And there we go. Now we're gonna go in with some peat moss right up under the pan there. 
doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit to keep dirt from going inside of it. Oh gosh, well, that was, uh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm still figuring out this peat moss stuff. <laughs> I don't guess I got all the wax off the deck on dog because I never heard it click. The night latch is clean, it just ain't making the click noise no more. Probably just needs to be filed down just a little bit where he's caught some many doggone things. But, I don't have a file with me, so we're just gonna make her work. Oh, goodness. Put a little bit of peat moss underneath the trap right there. And the pan, push it down until we feel it. There it is. Yep, that's it. All right, take the rest of this peat moss and just... I've noticed it doesn't take a lot of peat moss under the pan at, at all, but I'm kind of just like mounting it up around the this makes any sense of what I'm trying to say. Bounding it up around the pan so that the dirt doesn't fall into it, especially the sand. The sand will fall like crazy. So, one thing I don't miss about the sand is your, the holes start caving in on you really easy, easily. All right, get us some of our dirt right here. Sift her in. Find our pan once again. I'm gonna pack it in really good. Pack it in really good. All right. Now remember, we're gonna get rid of these hard edges around it, make it all look uniform so that it doesn't look weird. We dig it this a little bit, make it look like a natural dug out hole by a coyote. Look really natural. Yeah, so our trap pan's right here. Bang. That's where she's at. And now the last little bit of sifting is just to make it all blended and to be pretty. Well, I say that. I'm gonna sift it one time. I'll show you. Sifting it one time. And I'll bring it out some dirt right here. Now I'm gonna pack this dirt in so that it's all hard and uh, doesn't feel squishy to them when they're approaching it. And then this is what makes it look pretty. Just like that. Put a few guides for them. Nothing too much. You'll shy them coyotes away if you put too much of a guide on it. Cool. And that's that. Let's finish set. All right. So again, dirt. The road bed's right behind me. The set we just made is maybe 10 foot to our right. And uh, I'm gonna make another big three-inch dirt hole set, but I'm gonna change this one up just a little bit. Oh, goodness. She bites, she's biting. That ain't no joke. Get rid of all these dang leaves. We don't need them in our way. Get your spot out some more. Dang roots. And again, digging our trap bed out. I always target the front right foot, which is why I didn't catch that uh Red Fox, y'all seen videos of. If I had it set for a front left foot, and the way you're targeting that is if you offset for the right, you're aiming to catch that front right foot. If you offset it to the left, you're aiming to catch that offset, that left foot when he walks up. Either way, it will catch. Um, it's just a personal preference. I know some people that set to the left all the time, and I know some people that set to the right all the time. I set to the right all the time. Just how I do it. We got a trap bed dug out. Let's get her hammered in there. Oof. Anchor is set. Wax is on our dog right there. We're gonna clean her off. And you're, Jen, you're just getting the wax off of the night latch part. That looks pretty dang. Well, 
One thing nice about this sand is if you mess up your trap bed, you can easily fix it really quick. I love trapping in sand. If you have sand, you have the easiest stuff that there is to catch coyotes in, hands down. The easiest. I've trapped in red clay. Sand rock sucks. Not only setting your trap, but also trying to get the anchor back out of the ground is a pain in the butt. All right, got the trap right there, perfect. Peat moss under the trap pan. Hopefully I don't use, I don't lose a lot of people that watch my stuff because I switched over from peat moss or from uh, polyfield to peat moss, but I don't know, man. Like, it just seemed like gray foxes could smell it somehow. And I'd, I'd take my, my peat moss or my um, polyfield and I'd set it outside and let it air out, you know, to get rid of all that packaging smell to it. And they still freaking found it, dude. So, all right, same old, same old. Sift over it. Find the pan. Now, I will tell you, trapping around these banks like this, it's got a bunch of sand around the creeks and whatnot. You want to have a chain on your on your trap that is long because it may take you a good little bit before you find some uh, ground that's going to hold that trap in for you. And also thinking about when the animal does get caught, some coyotes like to dig, dig around the trap once they do get caught. So uh, they could potentially dig, you know, eight inches or so. Uh, down after they get caught so if you're only putting the trap 10 inches of the ground you only got two inches of anchor holding that ain't gonna hold everything in trapping world is based upon how solid you bed your trap and how solid it is that's what matters the most about trapping so you notice we put that little pile of junk right there i'm gonna take my rod push it down in the hole Like that and the goal of this is just to get his feet moving the more his feet move the more chances you have of catching that the sucker that's our second set we're gonna run around and go to our third set real quick and then we'll go around and bait everything all right so what we got here is a little bit of a mound of dirt right here and a patch of grass right here on this side so I'm gonna put like a walkthrough set right through this right here put a hole on this side hole on this side double punch hole walkthrough set First, we gotta get rid of all this junk that we don't need no more. And since we got two big three inch punch, three inch dirt holes, I'm gonna use my one inch dirt hole auger bit. So, put it right there. There we go. That is done. Now, we'll come back with our trap right here. All right, let's get this sucker whacked into the ground real quick. Got to hurry up. All right, pull up on our earth anchor, get her set. All right, ain't going nowhere else. Clean our dog off. Now you see me cocking it at a 45. This is because I'm going to have another hole duct posted into the ground right, basically right here where my knee pad's at. So I'm going to throw another trap or another hole in the ground right there. I'm going to cock it to the 45 just like this. So, peat moss. I'm going to trap pan. A little bit more. There she goes. She clicks. And then pack her in your donut. Now I'm going to pick my dirt up. And we're going to move it over to the side real quick. Get our drill. Let's see, where's our pan at? Right there. It's not really right or wrong way of doing this, but we're gonna punch the hole. Yeah, right about there. Bingo. Just like that. We're gonna dig out the bottom of it. I'm throwing one hole, one throwing dirt from one hole to the other. <laughs> While they're out just like this a little bit. Get our sifter back. Now, I'm going to take this 
piece of rebar again. And we're going to do it just like we did a minute ago. Bunch of hole right there. And it just so happened that little tuft of grass worked out perfectly. Again, we're just trying to make their feet move and change it up from what they see at those two holes. We got a basic dirt hole set. We got a basic dirt hole with a punch hole to the right hand side. And we got a walkthrough set with a punch hole in the middle of it as well. So, pan, boom, right there. And notice this pan is offset for both sides of the hole. Both hole, you know, it's offset for both of them. We want this to be nice and smooth and pretty looking when we get done with it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. Now, sifty sifts. Now we'll go to the truck, grab the bait, and bait all three of these sets. We got plenty of options for bait right here. But what has become one of my favorites is Dunlap Lure Soul Taker. It's getting real dang close to Hiawatha Valley. We'll get a glob of this down the hole. All right, well, after three trips back and forth to the truck, we got what we're looking for. Dunlap Lure's Hostile Gland Lure. We're going to take that. Break your stick. Get us a little glob. Now both of these things that I'm putting in this one hole are both made by Dunlap. Down the hole. You do not have to use name specific in each hole, obviously. I've just found that those this combo right here works pretty dang good. Now we're gonna top her off with a little bit of sheet spool. Down the hole. Push her down in there. Now that's that's done. All right, now this is our three inch dirt hole set with a little punch hole on the side. I'm gonna put some cavings, Hiawatha Valley. I bought this little tub at a local shop and the packaging looks pretty dang old, <laughs> to be honest with you, unless they changed it up. So Hiawatha Valley down to the bait hole and then we're gonna take the gusto and poke our gusto down into the little bait hole to the right. Just a little bit, not a lot, does not take much. And top it off with some sheep's wool down there in the bottom. And that's our three inch dirt hole set with a little side punch hole. Last but not least, we're at our walkthrough set. I'm going to use Hoosier Trapper Supply Top Dog Pair to bait. I'm gonna throw some of this down in the bait hole. Either one of them either side nice little glob down the bay hole i hope this turns out good because i'm not video on my big camera right now I'm trying to hurry up now we're going to take some yodel dog by cavens which is a gland lure down in that hole and then last but not least some vixen elixir by hoosier trapper supply a couple drops down the hole bingo that is the finished set so to recap we've got a three inch dirt hole right here and we've got a three inch dirt hole with a side punch right there. Double dirt hole, walk through, punch hole set. I don't know what you want to call it. It just makes their feet move a lot. It gets sent different ways and they gotta walk around to find it out, figure out what it is. So, I got set. The first set I made right there. Second set I made right there. Third is right here. Now Isaac, why did you put all these sets so close to each other? Well, that's because I've only got one cell camera right here on this tree. If you haven't checked them out yet, Reveal X Pros. They do not illuminate at nighttime, so they don't have any red lights, therefore the predators don't look at it, they don't care about it. And if you do like I did, and put a uh, solar panel on it, you'll never pay for batteries again. So, that's why we've got one, two, three trap sets right here in this one spot. And obviously the other reason is because the raccoons and if we catch two raccoons, that's okay because we still got one more set that is functional. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get all this crap right here on the ground loaded up in the truck. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Maybe you learned something. Um, tell me if y'all like this GoPro, the little GoPro video. It's not a GoPro, it's a Ramali camera. So if you like the little footage on the chesty, please drop a comment, let me know. That way I know to do it more for you guys. Or if you think you can see more, understand more with the big camera here, tell, uh, let me know that as well. Just give me a little bit of feedback of what y'all like. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you would, drop a like, drop a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one.